Got an update on geothermal, passive solar greenhouse. It's uh, about a year after the build. Uh, 2021 here, we're in December, just the beginning. Got some lemons here, right behind me. About in the ground for about one year. We're about a three year old tree. We got about six lemons already and more to come. The citrus seems to really like it in here. Geothermal systems working really well. We did some updates. There's one of the intake boxes here. Um, just put on a new piece of plastic on the inside. Uh, last winter we didn't have that. Um, hoping this will help out a little bit more with the temperatures. So there's no blower inside of here. It's just uh, put on the hoops with wiggle wire from the inside and then we have kind of a chimney looking thing coming up here from one box and then there's another one on the other box but everything's been working well last year we got a low temperature in here of 37 which wasn't too bad um, Last year we didn't have too hard of a winter. We only got down to about zero. So usually we get down to about negative 15. So it wasn't a hard winter. Um, so we'll see this winter. Hopefully this layer of plastic will keep us a little warmer. Um, last night it got down to about 23. Um, right now we're at about 46, 47. Um, Nighttime temperatures weren't too bad. The soil is about uh, 48 degrees. Um, the air coming out of the geothermal is about uh, 54 degrees. This is all in Fahrenheit. Uh, we got some figs behind me here doing really well. Uh, we had to move them actually two times just because they were taking over both the different spots. Uh, these are both one year old, or well, one year planted in the ground. Um, Got a passion fruit vine right here behind them. Everything's getting a little shocked with uh, the low light conditions. We got downy mildew coming in, um, a little powdery. Um, got some hardy kiwis here. These are real small. Actually, these aren't the hardy. These are uh, tropical kiwi. Um, these are real small, tiny little shoots when we got them, and they're uh, quite big now. You can see they're just wrapping themselves around this trellis here, which is working pretty well. Um, we have some jasmine here for the smell and the flowers. We're gonna try to keep this compacted into this little area. Uh, got some more citrus. I think this is a, a lime right here. This seemed to really take off. Uh, the citrus loves it in here. Um, we have some date palms here. They're growing slow, but they're growing good. So, no complaints. Um, got another fig right here. And this whole uh, self-facing bed, um, we've been planting a lot of greens and root crops in and just reburying them. Um, after they're done being harvested. We got some radishes here. Um, soil's really good stuff that we got in there. It's decomposing heavily and we've been adding plenty of it. We got some mushrooms here coming up. Oh, it's healthy soil. I'll walk you down to the other side here. Got some cucumbers still. They're not too happy, but they're making it. and. One lonely tomato. Oh, here's another tomato. Some nasturtium. This citrus tree just really does not want to quite go for us. Um, and hopefully it'll start taking off sooner or later. Uh, the pomegranate's been just going crazy. We have a few of them. We've already taken a cutting. These are only a year planted in the ground. Um, we have some beets over here. The beets are just going crazy, but I think we have a little bit too much nitrogen in the soil because our beets aren't huge, but our 
the greens are massive here. Um, peppers are just about out. I think we're going to have to get rid of this one. It looks looking really bad. Um, it's got some herbs here, some thyme, some sage, a little oregano in the back. Some rosemary here, more mushrooms, another tomato, still making it so far. Um, we got some lemongrass right here. Um, these are uh, the ciabatta cava, I might be saying that wrong. Uh, we got one there, and then one here. And the sturgeon seemed to just take over everything in here. We had one plant in the spring and took over half of this bed right here. Um, we have some southern grapes that are already pruned up. They're the muscadine. Um, we get some more right here. And we actually have some grapes that are native to here. Well, not native, but uh, grown a lot around here. The Concord, they didn't really look like Concord. They bought from a tractor supply. Um, but they fruited the first year, which is pretty phenomenal. And it was about um, June when we got our first grape, which was pretty crazy. Come down here to the, got some asparagus. And that just loves it in here. Um, just a couple hollies just popped in there. And then this is a quick peek at the geothermal tubes. I got it opened up just doing some tests. So everything's working well. And then uh, here's the other chimney that's going to go up. Hopefully create a little circulation in between that plastic. Um, we might have to add another fan but hopefully we can just use the fans that we already have running to power that. Um, we have a ventilation fan here that will kick on to the, move the heat around. But uh, so far so good. I'll leave some comments, likes, subscribe. Thanks for watching.